Well, my first cut was six hours and 27 minutes. <laughs> Nobody liked it. I loved it. <laughs> the outtakes. No, there was a lot of good stuff that ended up, of course, as, as in all films, not, not making it into the final film. But uh, actually, our first cut, Celine, wasn't it uh, just about 90 something minutes? So it, it didn't get that much shorter. Um, again, we were really, we were really following this script, and uh, you know, we we shot what was there. It it wasn't a really long movie. Next one will be though. <laughs> um, yes. Tonight, after having last night been with my beautiful wife, who I had seen Smart People, which was so great, and this was so great too, I believe was the question. <laughs> so, I don't know what the answer to that question is, um, except I'm very happy, and I'm very happy to be here, and it was nice to watch. I haven't seen it on a big screen, and, and Sarah, your movie was great to watch too, so this was a good weekend. <laughs> not that taxing. Like I said, Matthew was committed two years before we started shooting. We, we, we had a meeting and, and before he sat down he said, we don't have to talk or anything. I mean, I like it, I'll do it. So then we awkwardly had a Coke and left. <laughs> um, yes. I felt bad for him is why I committed to him. <laughs> What was the question? <laughs> um, so after, after I had the same meeting with Celine, the producer. Um, by the time we sat at the table, it was the same situation. She said, we're doing it. And I said, oh, OK. And, and I uh, ordered a Coke, and we awkwardly sat there. We didn't have a casting director. Um, I called in a lot of favors of, of people that I knew well in my former life as an actor. and. Um, and people that I admired. Uh, and they started falling into place when Matthew came on, and then, of course, when Virginia came on, the movie was, you know, something people wanted to be in. Um, and, yeah, Louis, he came into the movie. I'd like to tell about how he cast me, because uh, I'm not an actor, I'm very, I hope I didn't ruin the movie. But uh, he came to see me in a comedy club, and I did a set. And he came up to me afterwards and said, uh, I'm making a movie with Alan Alden, and Matthew Broderick in Virginia, and I want to put you in it. And I was like, well, when do I audition? He said, no, you, I want you to do it. He just gave me the part in the bar. And uh, I was really scared. I, I told him, I think during that conversation, I'm, I'm really bad at it. I've been in one movie and it was terrible. I was awful. <laughs> I know I was, and uh, I told him, don't do this, you're making a big mistake. <laughs> and he said, no, I am confident you can do it. And uh, it worked out because the part for me was very um, awkward and I was very overbearing and stupid. <laughs> and that's how I felt. I was really, I was afraid of Matthew and Alan, certainly Alan Alden, all these guys, and that's how I come across as an awkward asshole. So, that was, so it just worked. He knew, he knew what he was doing. <laughs> 